Three up, two across, tap that play button three times and walk through the archway into Dialogue Alley. Hello and welcome to Dialogue Alley, a podcast about Harry Potter books, book translations, and all other things magical. I'm Eric. I'm Carly. And I'm Melanie. And welcome to our podcast. We're so glad you're here. The three of us are Harry Potter book collectors. We collect translations of Harry Potter books from all over the world. They have different art. They have different uh, surprises inside. Melanie and I talked last week about the tiniest Harry Potter book, which was the pocket edition Japanese book, soft cover two parts teeny tiny itty bitty book and it was just bursting with surprises it had a bookmark inside it had little foldables on the outside it had a secret owl on the back it was just brimming with with wonder and magic (laughs) um which a lot of these books are which is why we talk about them and it is why we collect them so if this is your first time here welcome we're so glad you're listening to our show and if it's not your first time that's great too we're glad you're back and we are once again happy to have you with us So, for the episode tonight, this is episode 8 of season 4, we are going to do something exciting. We are going to throw it down. It's happening. It's going down, you guys. It's (laughs) happening. It's happening. We are going to take uh, the artwork, the unique artwork of all of these Harry Potter translations. We've narrowed it down to to a a solid number. We haven't included everything. No, but I will say it's all book one original cover art um and they're yes. all the first not first i don't know if i can say first editions but it's all like the first sort of version of that translation if that makes sense um yeah like the the first one to come out in that language i think yeah that's yeah i guess say. i yeah i guess so um and it just so happened that this was the number of covers that there were like I feel like I wasn't like making up any additional covers to try to add ones. Oh, the only ones that are not are like books that you kind of see all over the world, like a Duddle, a Selznick, uh Kabukibuishi, like those one Kazukibuishi. Those are the ones that um you might the common that, art that the are gonna common be in. Yeah. Art. Yeah. Ones that you kind of you see them all over the world, um, sort of thing. So those are the ones that are a little bit extra, but it's a good mix. Yeah, I'm excited. And I should mention right off the bat, this is a two-part episode. If you didn't uh, catch that from the title of the episode, which says part one, um, the next episode <laughs> will be part two, uh, where we take the second half of this bracket. And then we will have a final showdown sometime in the future, probably two episodes from now, where we uh, have the the finalists from each side of the bracket go head to head to crown the <laughs> ultimate champion of Harry Potter book cover art for 2023. We could say that because our opinions do change. Yeah, I feel like what's going to be hard Sometimes. about this is we all have to agree. Um, and oh. no, we don't. I, it, there's three of us. As long as are as we long each as two vote for in? one and one votes for. No, we're doing one bracket, but okay. we're each going to vote for one. So, like, if Carly and Melanie both like book A, but I like book B, book A moves on. All right. All right. I guess it doesn't have to be unanimous. All right. All right. I can't wait to see how it's going to go. Me neither. But before we get into that, uh, we do have some news to talk about. But before we get into the news, how are you guys (laughs) doing? I don't know. Um... That's a There's cute been question. Better days. That's a that's a very that's like a How's very that? on the spot question. Um, you this is like putting me very on the spot. I'm like getting like a little bit. I'm getting a little verklempt. Is like the Jewish word about it. It's a Yiddish word. Um, oh, I, I was I was hoping that you were going to say <laughs> ecstatic because you're sitting in front of your hallmark <laughs> ornaments. That's what I was leading that's you what into. You were I don't, with? I'm sorry if no, I steered you. you. Led me. You yes, led I'm me. sorry if I steered you. I'm going to tell you something, Eric. Oh, I'm like, sorry if I steered you off it, a different way. <laughs> I, uh, we recently like put a no. This is like a good opportunity to kind of like open up. I'm not gonna like fully like divulge like my entire life, but like we recently um, like put a post in our Discord just because I've been like a bit absent in it. Um, 
And it's not because I don't want to be, like, interacting with everyone that's in there. It's not that I want to not be interacting with the listeners of our episodes. I've just been going through some, like, personal stuff. Um, Alon is still great. Nora is still great. My family is great. Like, stuff like that. But I've just been going through some stuff that has just, like, hit me very hard. So, like, asking <laughs> asking a simple question of just, how you doing? Um, that's like an opening up a can of worms kind of question. I'm <laughs> um, like in a very like emotional, like sappy place about how I'm actually doing because like some days good. And then people ask me how I'm doing and then I'm like, mm, not great, but like, I love talking to you guys. So everything is going to be better, especially because now I'm looking at my Hallmark ornaments that are, that are up here. So. So that's great. <laughs> I should have been way more specific yeah. with my question. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I should Honestly, have said. Like, I should have said before we get into news. <laughs> hey, Melanie, how are those new Hallmark ornaments doing in I know, front of you? Before we started recording, I was mentioning to Eric that like I have all six up in front of me, like they're right over my computer, hanging on my desk, and it's just the most magical view. My desk is a disaster of a mess right now, but those ornaments are just. Uh, they're beautiful. So they're great. Great. Well, we are here to support you, Melanie, and it's always a pleasure talking with you. So hopefully. Yeah. Time makes. We bring uh, you joy. Time makes things better. Podcasting makes things great. Um, this episode's going to make things even better. So all good. Well, and Carly, how about you? How are you on Wednesday, November 29th? I mean. I'm okay. I've got a pretty decent migraine and a sore throat. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> Other well, than that, I I'm okay. Should never, I'm never going to ask anyone how they're doing <laughs> ever again. I'm sorry, I everybody. <laughs> but doesn't recording a podcast I'm make good. everything better? <laughs> yeah, how are you, Eric? I'm it doing does. okay. I'm fine. I had a, it was a <laughs> decent day today. It's Yay. going all right. Amazing. That's, I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, otherwise, things are great. Just another day. Like, other, otherwise, like, things are great. Like, just being honest, things are going very well for me right now. So, yay. Yay. <laughs> and speaking of yay, we have a little bit of news, and all of it is a yay. So let's, uh, let's talk about that. Oh, for the news, we just have a few things, a few things to mention. Um, as uh, I, I think we mentioned this last episode, that I was on an episode of Alohomora, which is another podcast on MuggleNet. So that episode actually comes out this weekend. So, like I said last episode, it's the first the first week in uh, December is when the that episode will be out. So when this episode comes out, that one will have already been out. So. If you're listening to this and you want to listen to the episode of Alohomora that I was a guest on, you can just uh, look for Alohomora anywhere you find podcasts, um, or you can go to MuggleNet and go to the podcast tabs and find Alohomora on there. So check it out. It's a fun episode. We talk about uh, one chapter from Goblet of Fire where Harry has to ask someone to the Yule Ball, and so does Ron, and it's just a lot of teenage drama that is very cringy yet fun to talk about and fun to read so um yeah you can check that out i i highly recommend it <laughs> well i can't wait How about that i'm gonna listen to our episode yeah. and then i'm gonna switch over to well Homora and listen to you you chatting it up on that episode can't wait we will Ooh, listen to it like at work plan. we will give our oh, support at jolly work. good that sounds great um, and the other bit of news is that uh, the advent calendars are out. I got one. It is. Um, I haven't looked too closely at it, so I honestly can't even tell you which one it was. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask but that. But when, when you have children and your children are the only children in the family <laughs> on either side, your kids get lots of stuff. And lots of stuff this time of year before holiday gifts and such uh, usually are like, hey, I got you an advent calendar. Oh, hey, I got you an advent calendar. I also got you an advent calendar. I got you an advent calendar. So 
It's just uh, lots of advent calendars are at our house right now, one of which is a Harry Potter one, and I'm not sure which one. I'm actually a little bit more excited for the Pokemon one, Ooh. Um, to be completely honest, because that, that, that looks pretty exciting. So yeah, so there's there's more advent calendars. But Carly, you mentioned a couple episodes ago, if anyone wants like a deep dive into the available advent calendars, um, Peter, Peter has a done job. a lot of videos. On, over at the Potter Collector YouTube channel. So head over there and check that out if you want to see all of the different advent calendars. Spoiler alert, he does open them all. So it's like you could watch like the first like 30 seconds of it and then and then not watch the rest of it if you don't want spoilers. But if you want to just see what's in the ones that maybe you don't want to buy, um, you can check that out over on his YouTube channel, which is always full of wonderful videos and content. And very lastly, well said. Uh, Melanie, very well said. Melanie, yeah. thank you. Melanie, he didn't even pay me to say that. How about that? <laughs> and if he did, no, he didn't. It was a free, free advertising. It was a um, free plug. Melanie, you have some, you have some almost, yeah, just like we plug Menards all the time. We can plug the Potter Collector too. Potter Collector, <laughs> Menards. They're both great things. <laughs> all right, uh, Melanie, you have some almost, almost Harry Potter news. Uh, yeah. Uh, Eric, you'll appreciate this very much. Um, I just officially today booked a trip to Orlando. And Ooh, it happens exciting. to be during the Harry Potter, Harry Potter not celebrate, like the uncelebration weekend. The not, yeah. Uh-huh. So everyone will, everyone will like be in town. Um, but I'm not doing, I'm not going to Universal. Like I'm not doing any. Harry Potter stuff. We always go this weekend because it's literally it's the week before Nora's birthday. So it's this year. It's right before she turns three. And when she turns three, when you go to Disney, then you have to pay. So it's right before she turns three. So this is the last chance to go before we have to pay for her. Um, So we're doing like a Magic Kingdom Epcot little weekend. She doesn't know about it. And she is like a she's obsessed obsessed with Mickey Mouse right now and obsessed with characters and obsessed with the princesses and everything having to it's like the perfect time to go um so we just officially booked it I'm also staying on Universal property so that's like kind of Harry Potter news um I'm hoping that Peter's gonna be there so we can meet up for dinner or something we made reservations that would be so much fun yeah, I love I mean, Toothsome. I love girl, you Toothsome. Know I love, you know I love Toothsomes. Like, you guys introduced Man, me to Toothsomes, so. I wish, I, I remember, oh, I remember. I wish I could go. Oh, I would crash your trip if I could. I mean, that's fine. Except we're going to Disney. We're not doing any Harry Potter or anything. Except no, I refuse. No, like, we could meet up. Oh, we could meet up. We could meet up I, at I refuse to wear Disney stuff on, like, to Universal property. Like, that's the only thing. And I know that that's hard because I'm staying at a Universal resort. But, like, if I'm going on City Walk and I am walking to Tucson's, I will not be wearing Disney attire there. I have to wear, like, some sort of Harry Potter stuff. So, um, I will be doing that. You're a purist. Purist. Yeah. You know why? Because I hardcore judge people that wear Disney stuff to Universal and vice versa. So I don't want to be one of the people that I judge. Today in honor, look look at my shirt. It's a. There it is. It's a Disney that, Happy Hanukkah. Was that from last year or was I it two years ago? Because it was very recently. Like it was recent that they came out with Hanukkah swag. I don't know. This is actually. With the Disney crew on it. Like, I'm pretty sure this is by Her Universe, um, which they do kind of like. I don't know. They kind of like have their own kind of like line of merchy stuff. I don't know. But um, I don't oh, know okay. when this is from. I bought it on Mercari because I saw it. I thought it was cute. I needed some Hanukkah stuff. I got a Disney Hanukkah blanket this year, too. There's not a lot of uh, Harry Potter Hanukkah stuff. So. No. If anything, no, really I haven't isn't. seen literally um, any Harry Potter Hanukkah. So it's fine. But I do know they have like they have Hanukkah stuff at the parks now and like the official merch stores. Like that was the first either last year or the year before it was quite it's, recent which it's coming coming out and about was shocking out and about baby so yeah so that's my um almost harry potter news is that i will be in town for on celebration weekend but i won't be doing any harry potter or anything Eek. Eek. but it's okay disney all the way Eek. oh yeah we still need that bonus episode about disney 
someday. I'm, I'm so ready. That's going to be a long bonus episode. I am too. I could talk about Disney all day. I remember all when we went to Sprinkles before seen. we went to dinner. That was we had so much fun. Oh my word! I know. If I could, I know. I wish I if come. I could fit. If I could figure out how, I would crash a trip, meet up, and we do things. But I don't think Sounds it's going to be ha able to happen this year. But okay. you never know. I know. Right. I'm such a fuddy-duddy. Well, something that you won't be a fuddy-duddy about is our main segment today. today we are doing something this was something that was requested in our discord um it's something that i thought was a phenomenal idea because we talk about all of these covers all the time um we've talked about our top favorite covers we've talked about like last year we did the totsies and we like rated some of our favorite books yeah. um but for this we are going to be doing a tournament bracket of best cover art um, so I put all of these in very randomly. Um, if you're thinking, if we go through a, all of the ones that we're doing in this episode today and you're like, wait, what? You didn't bring up blah, blah, blah. I can't believe you didn't talk about that cover. Don't worry. We're having a part two, a round two in our next episode. So don't worry. We'll probably be talking about it. Um, but yeah, why don't we get into this? I'll I'll fill out the bracket, um, and I'm then so I guess excited. it's just and then I guess it's just a matter of us voting and figuring it out and trying not to go too in depth about each one because I feel like we could potentially do that. So, all right, we could spend um, honestly an episode about each cover if we really wanted to. Oh, I'm sh well, that's why we have the translation of the show, so we can go in depth on a specific cover at a time. Um, all right, so for I our. I think we could men mention too, there's, oh, yeah, there's yeah. no way that we can post a picture of every single one of these no. on our like, like Instagram and socials, but if you go to either Carly's website or Melanie's website, um, and we our have Instagram will have a fair amount. Like, I'm going to do, I was looking at the yeah, list, and I'm going to do, a f I'm going to do my best to post as many of these because I have them all. Oh. Carly, you could you could put them like side by side, like for each of the chunks. Ooh. I could. That'd be cool. You could, and you will. You will be doing that. I've decided. Thanks, Carly. What are you gonna DoorDash me? That's a big commitment. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I did it for the World Cup like I will, four times. I know, but you Lego did that choice. Too. You did that, that was choice, your not choice. because someone was hanging it over your head. <laughs> you. So you can. I'll send you my dinner list, and then I'll do it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what the plan is. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a bunch of photos and then I'll tell you to DoorDash me. Wait, that's not how this works. <laughs> back to the back well, to the maybe, thing. Maybe it is now. It is All right. not. Maybe times are changing. Let's They're not. talk about let's talk about these books. <laughs> All right. So for our first round, I'm cutting you guys off. It's time to talk about books. <laughs> <laughs> our first round the playoff round um oh. we're gonna so we have a lot of books to to go through first round maori mm. and bosnian oh man i why do they have to be against each other melanie that because cool. that's how it just like randomly came up i also think it's a cool pairing because both of them the only like place that you see this artwork in the world is on I know, Maribook it's only themselves. And the Bosnian book. They're the only ones that have this cover art, which is really cool. Um, I'm going Bosnian. I'm going Bosnian. I think I, I can think of the fact that like the details on it have like the shiny little details. I'm and, so torn you know, because Mallory is an homage to the Johnny Duddle, like just being absolutely honest. So we've seen sure. all of this before, just, but it's an indigenous language with individual cover art. I this is know. purely, this is purely cover art. This has nothing to do with language. I know. So just keep I know. that in mind. Ah. I hate you guys. Um, 
I don't know. Like, part of me honestly wants to go Maori here. Okay. But, you but, 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 want. but it ties with Bosnian. In real life, they tie. I just can't do that here. I just have to throw that out there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to drink do whatever, drink. do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Pick one. Maori. I'm going to go Maori here. Because it, it's just such a wonderful cover. I love the Hagrid there. So's Bosnian. All right, Erica. Sorry. I know. I know. That's It's hard because I'm looking Bosnian. at Bosnian it's right now. Boop, boop. I'm Bosnian is moving on. <laughs> boop, boop. It's one of my one of my favorite covers. It is. It's so well done. You can't love. Bo you cannot look at Bosnian and not want the book, which is the Guys, point the, of a cover. I'm, I know. I'm looking it's ahead. So it is so fun. I'm looking ahead, and there are some really tough ones on here. I know. Uh, I even, know. I, I this know. Next one is also very tough. Japanese and French. Japanese and French. Eric, why don't you go first? This is original French cover, right? Original French cover. With the th original with the French cover, original there. Japanese cover. Man. I know. That's really tricky for me because I really like both of them uh, for different reasons. I think if it was just art that I would hang on the wall, it would be the Japanese book. But if it's like, how cool is this interpretation of the gang? It would be French. But if oh man, I don't know. It's this hard. is really tricky. That's a really hard one. I'm know, going French. Really I'm and I'm I, voting French. Oh, you already undercut me there. Okay. Well, now I now I don't want to like say because what if Melanie's going the other one? I was I'm. Do you want to say it on three? And hopefully Tommy will uh, edit I, it so we say it at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready. <laughs> one, two, three. French. Japanese. Okay, phew. okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. French is moving on, and I'm cool with that. That's fine. Yeah, I think that that's... that's I'll probably that's vote fair. for it in the next round, honestly. I love that cover so I, much. Yeah, I just, exactly. I really love the Japanese cover. I love uh, I love both. It's really hard. That's really hard. Uh, the next one, also crazy hard. Mary Grand Prix, yeah. original cover art versus Asturian. It's not obviously even a we know it's honestly It's not even a question for me, so I'm just going to vote Asturian now. I know. I know, Carly. I feel like it's just we take you out of the equation because we know that you're going to This is this is like exactly. a 50/50 shot right now. Because If it doesn't I, move on, I may cry. I may cry. <sighs> All right, Eric, you go first. Mary Grand Prix. No! I know. The thing is, I also I am gonna pick Mary Grand Prix over Asturian. I'm no! so sorry. I love Asturian sorry, on its own. Carly's done. I do too. I love it. I, I love, love Asturian, Asturian. But, like, but it's I'm so the going clamped. up against I'm so the clamped. The monster. The monster from the United States. Yeah, no. that's so like hard. the color palette, the color palette of Asturian. I don't know. I that I love the colors of Asturian. I'm not a pastel girly, and Mary Grand like, Prix is all about the pastel. Are the I, ultimate magical colors. They are until they aren't. Like they're no. just not. Like Asturian is so much better in my opinion. It ha look at the font. It has the beautiful swirly do font. Ah, no, this is a really hard one. Just, I'm sorry, Carly. I have to go marry Grand Prairie. I want to throw my cup. I want to throw my cup, you guys. I will! I'm going to... How can you say that's the prettiest <laughs> Maybe, cover in all of Potterdom? And it lost like in round one. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can have a consolation bracket. <laughs> yeah, honorable mention goes to Asturian, for sure. I feel uh, so defeated. This is honestly so this like is this is so early. hard this because is really all of these hard. are unique. <laughs> They're unique art. They're this all is... unique. I like them all. That's and the hard so thing. And, and like the I problem hate is, that. Like, good thing it's gone. 
The problem is, is that if independently people are like, what do you think about Maori? Oh, it's one of my favorite colors. What do you think our covers? What do you think about Bosnian? It's one of my favorite covers. That's the thing. What it's do you think so about subjective. Mary Grand Prix? Right. It's one of my favorite so colors. Favorite covers. I know. It's also, it's so, we're comparing apples and oranges. Like, that's what's very hard about this. Um, I know. But we're doing uh, it. I'm you're sorry, killing Carly. me Carly's here. Dead. You're killing Carly's me. Dead. I, All right, next one. I am dead. Next one, honestly, I feel like might be a bit easier. German versus Danish. Ah, um, that's a no-brainer for me. I'm German. I'm going German. No-brainer. <sighs> wow, you two are quiet. I really love the Danish cup. <laughs> that no one can hear but us. I discovered a soundboard in our video chat. They'll just think I'm having a psychotic break because I'm the one laughing the loudest. It's fine. Um, (laughs) I I love the Danish books. So it's it's moving on. German's moving on. I don't love the Danish one. It might be one of my least favorite. My opinion matters. My opinion matters. You could say your words. But you you were taking so long, so I just said German, and then now it's your turn. I wasn't. I said I. Pr- I was going Danish. <laughs> All my books are losers. Wow, you guys. we have not had a unanimous vote yet. That's exciting. I like that. All right. Ooh, this is another on good me. one. Another very good one. Original Icelandic <gasps> versus Who? Thomas Taylor. Thomas. Who Taylor. came oh, up with this bracket? I just put them in Who randomly. Did they They're so us. random. I have a I'm hard going time. Thomas I'm, Taylor I'm very, here. I think I'm also. I've got to go Taylor. Thomas because the Icelandic to me looks like he has a cut on his forehead instead of a scar. Otherwise, I love but the I Icelandic. Love that cover. I love I the Icelandic so much, but but Thomas Taylor. This I have is, to. It's nostalgia reasons. And, and, I have to pick and, Thomas Taylor. And the Icelandic is an homage to Thomas Taylor. Like I know that's a good duo. It's a departure. I know, uh, but I'm going Thomas. I've got to go with the OG here. Yeah. Yay! A unanimous. Yay! We have Thomas a unanimous. Taylor. Thomas Taylor, three. For I feel three. like we need we a sound effect for this. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Exactly. Um, another really difficult one. I know which one I'm going to pick already, though. Check the original check cover art versus the original Ooh. Hungarian cover art. The green. Oh um, my gosh! Indiana oh my Jones. Goodness. The Indiana Jones cover. Indiana yeah. Jones versus the Scream. Uh. Versus the Scream. <laughs> yeah, that's with the essentially what you've with done. With the super cute um, ghost too. Oh, so good. Uh, I don't even know you guys. They're both so good, and they're both my they're favorite both, covers. They are good. They're both two of my favorite covers. All of these are like I my know. favorite covers. I know. Is, oh, geez. Well, I I know. This my, is my only is making my migraine worse. Ooh. I like check. Uh, if I had to pick the two, I like it. I I. Green is not I'm one going, of my favorite favorite colors. So like that's the other, if it was like, I know it is. So that's super subjective there. Like I love the mm-hmm. Hungarian one. I love the check one more. I think I like it because it's more detailed. And I like looking I for all those little details. I love the Czech color palette, though. So if like I'm the Czech the col- two, color palette the is I magical. have my answer. I'm, I'm writing. It's I'm bright writing it and down. fun. Hold on. I'm going I'm Hungarian. It down on my hand. I've got a. It's got to get representation from me. Hold on. What'd you write on your forehead? I didn't write anything on my forehead. I was writing uh, my answer on Eric my hand did. to to lock it I wrote, in. Eric I wrote, did. Uh, I wrote check on my forehead. Oh, did you just do a check? My answer. No, I didn't. I can't read it. It says Hungarian. I can't read it either. <laughs> Yay! Oh. It's ah. Hungarian. It was Hungarian. I've, yeah. I've, a book sorry, I picked. It. It's it one through. of my favorite Harry Potters. It's one of my favorite fonts. It reminds me of making a PowerPoint presentation in fourth grade. Like, it's that kind yeah. of font. Um, I, the one. check is so, but the check is so good. Like I hate that it's knocked out now. It's like a story, and how can that be out in the first that's round? How, that's when how it's one works, of the best man. covers. I know that's it's how, just wrong. This works. is I know. this is so wrong. I hate this game. 
too bad we're doing another episode on this next week. Yeah. Too bad we're only going to talk about it for like two more episodes. I after. know. Sorry. Um, and the right. next two were like my least favorite covers. Oh, this is hard, well, but the opposite way. Yeah, the last ones are the last ones are hard in a completely different way. <laughs> Farsi and I Spanish. I don't. The Spanish to me is just so sad. Like it's so mundane and boring. I don't care for the Spanish, and I know it's during is a departure of the Spanish, but it's much better. Um, I've got to go with fa- the original Farsi because it's comical. Not because it's good, I, just it's it's I, comical. Uh, oh, I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth. Eric, what would you Because I see the original Farsi and I chuckle. The Spanish makes me want to, like, I grab know. a tissue. I see the original Farsi and I chuckle also, but not because it's good. So it's not I don't good. Know if I'm saying Nothing which one about is, it is good. Which one is better? I know. That's why <laughs> okay, it's I'm so good Spanish. because it's I'm, not good. I'm picking Spanish before Eric. Can no, say. you can't do that. No, I have so to. So now you're torn. Now you're torn. I definitely pick Spanish. You're I'm going, I'm the going, deciding vote. I think better I'm like going, cover Carly, art. I'm going like yes. Spanish. They're both ridiculous. Like Spanish is like the sad version of Harry Potter. Like if Harry Potter was depressed, it would be that cover. No, that would be Icelandic. No, that's yeah, he's, Harry he Potter looks emo. Real sad on the Icelandic he's cover. emo there. This is just depression because of all the blue. He's emo and he's held way too much carbon monoxide from. Yes, that that's the Icelandic cover. The De- the Dolores in or like whatever diesel f- fumes. Dolores was in a blue um, mood. Yeah, she was in a blue mood, and the like the Spanish covers are depressing to me. Like the original, they're just depressing to me. All right, Eric. So, man, I don't. But neither are great. No, just, <laughs> just to be fair, like the Farsi, I'm picking because it's comical to look at, not because it's better. <laughs> just being honest, the art quality well, is better oh, on the you Spanish. You know what? Okay, I looked at, I looked ahead. I'm going Farsi. And because I looked ahead, and I want to see the throwdown in the next round. <laughs> okay. Farsi. And I'm what going. At, I'm going round? with Farsi, not because oh. it's good, but because like now I, think I see. It's a I good see where you're going. To show people, and it, it. I agree with Carly. It's a chuckler, and it's fun to show people. And it's yeah. like, what is that? What are they doing yeah. here? Yeah, exactly. All right. Occitan versus Italian. Italian, hands down. I don't like the Occitan. Uh, Eric? I'm going Italian because I think the red <laughs> hat is hilarious. And yes! I'm, going I, I I'm know. so glad. There's no way. I like, know. if Asturian has know. to lose. I love Occitan. I love it. If Asturian has to lose, o- Occitan can't move on. Really, that if Italian it's... one is is super iconic, too, because it was such an early translation. It I is know. Like, I know. To- completely oh, iconic. Whenever there's pictures of translations of Harry Potter, it's always on Italian. there. Italian. Yeah. It, it's. I almost think it's more ridiculous because it, it like, is ridiculous. It looks like everything's fine, but he's wearing a rat hat. And you're like, why? Just All right. why? <laughs> Listen, I I I feel like my my vote doesn't matter either way. I could have gone either way with this one. I love the Italian cover with how ridiculous it is. I love Occitan for like very similar vibes. I I feel like Occitan is like the neglected like stepchild. So like I just want to hug it and love it and tell it that everything is going to be okay. Well, but it's too, not. And it, it also, looks like also that. no offense if if anyone's a stepchild. Like I didn't mean anything like by it. I'm overthinking that, but you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy! All right, I don't. Let's go I don't back care up. For right, that back cover. up to the top. Are you guys ready? Yay. Back up. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. up to the top. All right, we have. Bosnian oh, this is going to be harder. Versus French in the semifinals. Bosnian versus French. I played the fifth. Cannot. Bosnian. You cannot. I also would pick Bosnian, Bosnian, so you can plead the fifth. Wow. How about that? Hey, my vote matters. Even if it doesn't, it does. It's like the you electoral said you college. You said you pleaded the fifth. You pled. I'm going to say French anyway. 
Even though Fine. I don't know, that's, still, that's really hard. I still, um, I still I'm actually pick Bosnian. No, no, no. I'm gonna go Bosnian. Like just being very honest, I want. I love that cover. It is so wonderful. The French one. So goodbye, French, and I. A bit au revoir by saying, it is just so cute. Like the, it's just it so. It is like, like you can't innocent looking. And, it makes me want to buy the book, which is the total point of a cover. But the Bosnian I know. to me, I agree. I, I prefer Bosnian. the Bosnian. Yeah, I love the Bosnian art. So Bosnian. I think it's for also that well. the French. It doesn't feel like overplayed, but it's also like the French is so much more well known, so you see it so much everywhere. It it's is, also, but not just on the original cover art. It's on the large print, and then it's on mm-hmm. the deluxe, and it's on so many different the room of requirement set it's on so many different covers that it's very like almost overplayed it, whereas bosnian it's literally it's just, just the only one that book. also the french to me is much more subdued than the bosnian and i really prefer the bosnian like look at me versus the french like over here yeah. going hey. i'm around yeah like hey, hey like what eric said so i pre- i don't care for the subdued covers as much as like the bosnians or the asturians or you know things like that all right, are you ready for the next one? Mary Grand pa- Mary Grand Prey and German. I'm going Mary Grand Prey. Mary Grand Prey. Yeah, I agree. And I don't want I I don't want I'm going to go ahead and say it now if I'm like making my prediction. I don't think Mary Grand Prey is going to win. But I think no. she'll go far. Is what I'm saying. I I, I yeah. I think right rightfully so. I think it I agree. it is I like the art and it's it's so visible and I think beloved by so many people just because of of the the popularity of that book. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna come down um, to Mary Grand and the size and of our Taylor. and the size the size of our country. That would honestly, be cool too. if it did, but who knows if it's gonna come down? I think no, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Next bracket is Thomas Taylor and Hungarian. I'm going Thomas Taylor here. I love I the Hungarian, go, but Thomas I Taylor to me Hungarian. is a much better art. I'm going Hungarian. Is that crazy? I, I obviously I love the Thomas Taylor art. Uh, love I, that book is so like nostalgic and wonderful. But Hungarian is definitely it is one of my like top five favorite covers it just well these are all my top fives that's what (laughs) makes this hard (laughs) i i love i love that book i'm going hungarian i'm so excited to see what eric's gonna pull off of the shelf these are all my oh hungarian may take the winner i don't know it's hard i'm looking at both it's hard hard hold them them both both. both up i can't let's see then i just I don't know. I can't not choose Thomas here, unfortunately. I like I get that, but no, I'm going Hungarian. I don't Hungarian. know. It's really hard. It's really it is really hard. Like this is a hard one, you guys. Cuz the Hungarian is so well I done think, even if it's ridiculous. I think I'm going to go with Hungarian because I I just like the style of how the colors are used in it's terms well of done. like like this is it's well done the Thomas Taylor one is fantastic it is just a brilliant piece of art and i it's just more realistic looking for being a fantasy thing this one is is also not realistic looking but it's um like i don't know just like the way the colors are on like Harry's cloak it's just it's the colors they don't blend them so it's almost more like um it's not impressionist, but it, it kind of reminds me of some impressionist paintings where they're like, you know, like if you the closer you get, you're like, oh, there's really nothing there. And then you back up and you're like, whoa, that color really works together. And I, I like that effect because this book does that in that sense. So I'm going Hungarian. Wow. It's amazing. I love I love the Hungarian book. I, I, I don't not love the Thomas Taylor. The Thomas Taylor is iconic. Um I love the Hungarian cover. Um, all right. Next one. Fun. Farsi versus Italian. That's an easy one for me. Italian. Italian. Yeah. Carly. I'm going Ita- Italian. 
All right. We wanted to hear your voice. No, Italian. Italian. All right, guys. We are up to the championship round, which will bring us down to two. Or the, we're going into, I guess this is, that was the semifinal. I don't know. We're, we're, we're narrowing it down to two in this next round is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Tricky. Okay. Bosnian versus Mary Grand Prix. Wow. Why don't we just rip my heart out? Well, I'm going to just be bold and say I am picking the Bosnian cover. Is it crazy that I also think I'm picking Bosnian? I think I think no, I have not to. crazy. I'm thinking I'm picking Bosnian too, you guys. I know. I think I, I like I it better. I love the Bosnian cover. I love the Bosnian covers. I love them. It just speaks to me for some reason. And I love the May Grand Prix. But I think part of me loves the May Grand Prix because of nostalgia as well. Whereas Bosnian Correct. exists only here. And and May Grand Prix is a very well done cover. It's one of my favorites, but these are all my favorites, so you I know. think I think that no one would be upset with us for choosing Bosnian. I think that it's a comfortable answer. I, someone, I bet someone will be. I bet someone will be. <sighs> yeah, I I think it'll be okay. Um, I don't think I don't think everyone loves the Bosnian cover. This I is, think some people are very like it's, it's a very, very abstract. I, it would be a very polarizing. I think it's probably very polarizing art. We just three happen to yeah. be the part of the niche that love it and yeah, what's I, yep. what's crazy is i, That's a good way to I say can it. kind of see where this is going and i never would have thought that this is coming to this after like at the at this point in the bracket because if i had to think of like my favorite cover art in the world it's none of it these actually I'd, these wouldn't be these wouldn't be the ones yeah i these wouldn't be the ones that i would no, think that's, either, what's, but fun that's what's fun about this that's what's, yeah that's what's fun and if the order was are, different so in these we could have ended up somewhere completely different but here we are exactly here we are uh hungarian and italian hungarian i'm also hungarian going hungarian I don't know. I mean, my vote is wow. You know, superfluous at this point, but it's a hard one. I'm gonna say Hungarian as well, though. I I just love that Hungarian cover art. I like it better than wow. the Italian. Can I tell but you guys I about love the, the color. Italian. Can I tell you about the colors of that cover? <laughs> I tell you how they when you get close, they look like they're separate, and then the farther I guess, back but you get, I feel they like bleed together. I feel Did like I the that? reason why I would count out italian is the same reason why i would count out the mary grand prix i think it's like i feel that my like nostalgia bias is like i have to kind of like shut that voice off a little bit and just kind of go with what i really find to be truly appealing so that's why i'm going hungarian with this that's why i went bosnian but now for the final round final little bracket of round one Bosnian versus Hungarian well I'm looking at them both and I'm holding them in my hands they're so different my they're goodness they're so different um I Carly do you know I'm do, you have a, a, do you have a, a pick I, I can't I'm gravitating equally to both so I'm not the person I know, to I want Carly. Here. I want Carly to pick first yeah, I want you to pick first, Carly. Hold him still. Carly, Carly. Because you've Carly, been going last. Carly. So I feel like I feel like it's important for you to go first for this one. So your vote absolutely matters. <sighs> but there's such different art styles, right? Like the Bosnian is a lot more abstract, whereas the Hungarian's just, I think, a strangely done but very well done piece of, you know, modern or not modern, but contemporary art. Um I think for me, if I'm going to judge the covers based on which book I think I would buy based on the series, I would go Bosnian, unusually. And I say that because I think, to me, it's the one that's... I would pick up both. If I were to see both in the store, I would gravitate toward either one, and I'd pick them up and want to buy them. But I think for me, what sells Harry Potter as 
a fun fantasy for book one would be the Bosnian more than the Hungarian, which is still a little bit more subdued to me. The Bosnian looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because of how abstract it is. Um, that's kind of how I'm basing. I can't go off of art. They're both favorites, right? So I'm just going off of how well I think they would sell a book. I th This is going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, Similar conversations going on in my head about these two books. Bosnian, I think the fact that it's so colorful and vivid, like, it, uh, I mean, you're immediately drawn to it and how unique it is. There's nothing else like it. Um, I obviously love the fact that it has the shiny details on the cover. The owl, the snitch, the chess piece are all, like, shiny and stand out. Um, you don't see that on every cover, which I think is just very very cool it's very magical uh, we're not talking about like the backs but the back of this book is like stellar as well so if we were doing backs it would be a no-brainer obviously bosnian because hungarian the back of right. hungarian is like a bit rough um oh my god the hungarian these are like this is my favorite color palette the forest it, it just looks like a watercolor like masterpiece the way that these trees are painted and the way that harry's cloak is painted and everything about that i just love it so much <sighs> i think the mature melanie wants to pick hungarian and just the collector melanie wants to pick bosnian so it's badly. such a hard call I'm it is so such a hard call because quite frankly both could win that's why i had to look at which one i think would sell a book it's like sell this particular story better as i had to remove the art from it entirely because i i love them both individually for very different reasons i think this episode and if this was like TV producers, they would obviously want me to pick Hungarian because that would make it more interesting that it would come down to Eric and Eric would have to decide and the drama, the drama. Um, I have to go Bosnian, I think. As much as I love this Hungarian cover, I have I have to go Bosnian. Well, if it was produced, um, Tommy would have put a, a, a commercial break in right, right before you <laughs> talked about that. I think I'm going to have to go with cue the music and um i'm i'm going bosnian too i say i don't need to say anything else you guys talked about that exactly the reasons so why i'm picking it also hard hard that was very hard and i cannot believe that that's the book that we came down to with books like I mary grand prey icelandic thomas taylor in Asturian. their Maori, japanese those are iconic uh, covers. Asturian. Yeah, there are some really great covers. Um, uh, just to give... All right, to, so to round things out, we've ended up with Bosnian. In this bracket, there is going to be a part two. Spoiler alert, I am going to say, Swedish wasn't mentioned in this episode. That's all I'm going to say, guys. It was not mentioned in this episode, which that might be why I didn't care in some <laughs> situations i don't know but we'll see it, anything could happen what if it gets put up against something else that i'm just enamored with that and i have to just make a a decision i don't know you never know you're gonna have to stay tuned to next episode to find out um but with all of those phenomenal covers that we mentioned in this episode um we have one pretty stellar cover slash book that we need to talk about for our translation of the show. Right. I'm very excited. I know this cover wasn't in anything we've discussed, but it's I love this cover too, you guys, but we'll get to that in a minute. 
our translation of the show is the it's the second translation isn't it this is the second croatian Uh translation right yes yes yeah not just a new cover it's a new translation you guys how neat is that like freaking awesome um the translator is dubravka petrovic the publisher is mosaic kniga and i think it's a new publisher as well i don't remember the first croatian publisher publisher, but okay um Really fast, how did we get ours? Mine came out of a group book order that I did through the Discord, actually. <laughs> Same. Same. <laughs> I think ours came in the Almost same. Any of the, well, any, any of the books of the... that come out recently, we will probably just group order them, honestly. It yeah. saves so much shipping. Unless, for some reason, I'm like, you know what? I have a trip planned to fill in the blank in three weeks, right after the book comes out, and I want to mm-hmm. get it there. Um, yeah, well, no, at that point, usually the way to go for the new ones. Yeah, so I think ours were like box mates. Yeah, and so, if you listen to um, a previous, ep- I don't remember which episode it was this season, but I did talk about how my in laws just went on vacation and were in Croatia, and they got me books. I don't remember if it was four and five or five and six. I think or five and six. yeah, it was four and five. They just brought back for me because right after they came back, they announced six and seven. Um, So they weren't out when they were there. So they only bought the books that they had. So they bought books four and five. So I have up through five at this point. And it's cool that they got them directly from Croatia. I think that is so cool. (laughs) Insert Melanie's face was classic. You know yep, why? Because I that think that the comical. sound effects are phenomenal that he's putting in. But I know that we're the only ones that can hear them because I know that that's not how this recording process works. I, I know. It's so a sad. Silly goose. It's so, it's so sad. Silly goose. Um, um, rarity and value. These you can still buy from the publisher. So it's the cost of the book plus shipping if you need it shipped to you. There, it's not rare. It's not valuable. It's just what you're going to pay for it at either a bookstore or through the online ordering process at this time. I don't know how many they printed, Mine but says, I don't see it being, you know, anything rare. Oh, uh, I mean, it's printed in both the Croatian currency and euro. And yep. so if you're a euro minded person, it's ni- 1990 set. It's price of the new book. Yeah, yeah, plus plus sh- whatever if you need it shipped to you plus the cost of shipping and taxes. So nothing nothing here to write home about. But beautiful, but we'll get into the, more of that later. Um okay guys. Let's and get into the later. Top scale. <laughs> yes, welcome it is to, later. Welcome to later. Let's, let's get into get it. Into, <laughs> let's get into it and give it the old tots smell test. I, I'm not a fan of this one. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, I'm giving it a pour. Like, I don't know. It's not. I'm giving really? it a pour. I was going to say pour. Yeah, it's not to the point where it like has a smell that I could say like, oh, yeah, this, you know, it's acceptable. Neither here. It definitely has like a bit of a smell to it, um, which is not great. So, yeah, I agree. I'm going to give, give it, it a pour. A, I'm giving it exceeds expectations. All right. Well, we know what smells Carly's into. Just kidding. Bad, <laughs> bad ones, apparently. I was the kid book who sniffed smell. the gas tank growing up. Croatian so book smell. There is that. Mm. Love me a good book smell. Yeah, I don't mind this one. It's not a favorite, but I don't mind it. I've That's smelled much funky. worse. It's a little funky. Um, what do we think of the size and proportions? I think they exceed my expectations. I, I think it is, um, I wish it was just a tiny bit taller. I think it's, it's wider than it is tall for me. And I, because of this, just how big the book is in general, it's, it's a smaller hardcover book. Um, I wish it was just a tad taller, but it's still really, really great. Exceeds expectations for me. Yeah. I'm also going to give it exceeds expectations. You know, it's like an almost relatively like squarish kind of book, um, which is nice. 
it feels like if it was like a half inch taller or a half inch wider, that would have made it like stand out a bit more. Um, it is like a thicker book, which is really cool. Um, the first translation of Croatian, if I'm not mistaken, is like quite large, right? Yes. It's a big, and thin. big boy. A big, big boy. boy. It's, it's thin big boy. and so, tall. Yeah. So I just feel like. I feel like that like that book is an outstanding for me. I love how like big that book is to the point where it stood out in my head. I remembered that it was like a big book. This one, I feel like that's not the characteristic that is like super standout-y for this book for me. So yeah, just exceeds expectations. She's nice. I'm going, ex- I'm going outstanding here. I love how thick it is versus how short it is. I love that it's a shorter, thicker book, but maybe I'm partial to short, thick things. Like, I'm short and not super thin. So maybe it's just me being partial to me. <laughs> but oh God, I Carly. think hey, this I is don't knock, I don't. I don't knock the outstanding. I think that's, I think that's a perfectly think that's acceptable score. I just used two words in the scale to talk about. Perfectly the, acceptable. Know, <laughs> yep. How does it feel in your hands? I love the texture of this book. Um, I would give it an outstanding, yeah. honestly. I like that the texture is very smooth, not the buttery texture. And I love the feeling going across the logo. Like if you just go like this. Same. It, like, I've, I've been, yep, I was going to add the that. logo I've is been glossy. Doing that. So I just know. like, so you just rub your name across that and it just like your fingers stick to it like just perfectly. Yep. And I oh, love and that it, it does doesn't. It on the spine. And it's on the spine too. Wow, that's I know. Nice. I love yeah, that really it doesn't nice. leave the smudge marks that some of the other covers get, and you're like, you have to like vigorously wipe them off to keep them clean. So yeah, this is outstanding for me. This is a very well done like feel. Whoever came up with the texture of this did a fabulous job to me, and I yep. love. I agree. Outstanding. Same reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I keep clicking on the wrong tab. Um, quality of the book. I honestly, I have nothing wrong with the quality of this book. I would, I think, I would give yeah, it an I, outstanding. The corners are super sharp. It's bound very tight. Um, I have no dings on it whatsoever. It travels very well. It opens very nicely. Um, it opens out and, flat, despite yes. being such a tight binding, which I always love that um yeah outstanding for quality and i feel like it would handle being read a few times nicely and 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 not get a spine lean so that's gonna go i'm gonna have to say this is outstanding quality uh because even though our books have not been read obviously i think it could handle being read just fine based on everything that melanie discussed my groups of pages on mine are very distinct but I think they're secured pretty well, so I don't mm-hmm. think that really affects the the quality. So I agree. I can't really find much wrong with this book. It's an outstanding. Mm-mm. It's made really well. Um, Love it. I'm going to say, okay, let's keep going. Cover art interpretation of cover art. Um. I'm giving the cover art an outstanding. This is Yay! the first cover. This is uh it's not the first time we're seeing this cover art. This is the new cover art that they use for the audiobooks. Um and this is what we see on Audible. I think that that was the first time we saw this cover art or this artwork was on Audible. But this is the first book in the world to have this in a hardcover. And when I explained that to my in-laws, like when they bought me the books, what was special about them? It's the fact that you can only get this artwork on this book right now. I am sure that it's going to come out somewhere else at some point. Italy. But the fact you that, know, Italy's. Yeah, Italy's like always on top of stuff like that. Uh, and just Danish. The fact that it Albania. Was, <laughs> yeah. Albania. Well, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, there's another one we can borrow. <laughs> oh, sure. Let's just borrow that. Um, yeah, at, I just at think least that Italy the fact does that a Croatia mix of their own of, and borrowed. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that Croatia but of all places frankly, did it first, I think, is just awesome. I, I love that. And quite frankly, I don't know that I would buy this on like if any other language came out with this, I'd probably still only own the Croatian covers of it because I I love this book enough that it satiates that need. Um, And also, how about this shiny stuff? It's like the Bosnian right here where it's the shiny where they have like 
a little bit of texture where the Harry Potter is, like, and on the spine. Like, it's just a well thought out book. So outstanding over here. The, like, well, you can tell same reasons, that they wanted to. Outstanding. I, yeah. Yeah, you can tell that they they actually had a decent board meeting about the design of this book instead of like, yeah, that works. Jill, I like your idea. Yeah. Bob, that's great. And then they left. Yeah, we, and then they they didn't produce something with like Google clip art. They actually put time and thought into it. So yeah, I'm it's, it's I'm outstanding. It. I think this is really great. What do we think about the X Factor? Um my no, you guys go first. You guys go first. I have a good one, but I want to see what you guys say first. I love the spine. I think it's it's bright red, and the Harry Potter font is like an orange. It's textured on the spine. On the shelf, this book looks so cool. It's It stands out. It's like, there it is. There's the Croatian second translation. Like, I can find it. Yeah, w- not not only because my books are alphabetized by translation, but, um, yeah, like, I could find this one in a heartbeat. Bing. And even cooler, and this isn't really part of this book, but the rest of the series, the spines are also really awesome. I don't have yes. them. I was thinking that too. But, like, but they awesome. you're not, you're they also all not stand wrong. Out. Yeah. And, like, right. And so you can go, there they are. Boom, 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 boom. And, and pick them out. They just look really cool. So it's a simple design. It's just a bold color. But I think that really works, especially compared to what we're used to seeing, which is just a bunch of Mary Grand Prey spines that are either the diamond pattern or the like the continuation of the front art. So it's right. just simple, and I love it. And I love that it's textured. Do you want me to go, Melanie, or do you want to go? Yeah. No, go ahead. So mine is a bit weird, but you're going to have to go with me on this one. I love how I can bend the pages and flick them. And then it just closes. No, I like love there's that. something like that's the paper quality is is good. Don't get me wrong. It's a well like the paper quality is good, but they're not stiff enough to where you can't bend the pages and flick through once you open the boards. And it also doesn't like they fan well, like I could honestly, just as a stem, (laughs) I could honestly just sit and do this with the book for a while and love it and just kind of use it to calm me down. Because it's very texturally um, rewarding, if that makes sense. Like, there's something about it that I could honestly just do this for a while and just love every bit of it. And it wouldn't affect the spine because the quality is so good. I agree. I That's a beautiful answer. I love everything. Like, I love that. I love this book because it is, and it's very approachable. It is meant to be read. So. Yeah, all approachable is like a lovely word for it. Um, Mine is pretty simple. And it's just that I love that they include the chapter stars, but they're not the original Mary Grand Prey chapter stars. They're their own cute little stars. I almost I think that said that's yeah. so cute. Like they're that had, standard, have, like five I haven't even noticed pointed that until little star. It's not like yeah. It's not like these. Like like the chapter stars are like no, very no. iconic typically, but these are these are their own cute little cutesy little stars, and I love that. Well, the Grand Prix ones are six pointed stars, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah. six One, two, pointed three. six pointed stars, yes. and then these I'm ones are five. five. So yeah, they're almost the I same. I have them tattooed on my body. <laughs> so oh, I don't. I just have a book on the shelf next to me. I almost I mean, I said a, the I chapter hundred, stars, hundreds. but I love how they made this book their own. Everything they've done made it their mm-hmm. own. Absolutely, I so completely agree. If you're into, you know, if you're into foreign languages, if you're into Harry Potter translations, this is a book that should be on your shelves, even if you just get the first. That's my plug. Okay. Yeah, I completely agree. I think we did it. It's great. I think that's it for the tots. Sadly, like I could keep going about this book. Well, I 
probably could as well. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have on this episode of Dialogue Alley. Don't worry. We'll be back next episode with part two of our book book bracket. I was going to say the, the book off. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Like like a re like a read read off. I know that there's a, sounds like there, something like a fun one of my um, favorite bookstores in the city is called Book Off. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. cool. oh no! I'm thinking of Book It. Book It was book like it. a promotion that we did in school, and like yeah, you got like a little bookmark, and you like every certain amount of books, you got like a little flame on your candle or something, and then wow. you'd get like the free personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut when you'd go sit there. Look at that in the booth, and they'd bring it out in your little your little pan. Amazing. That's love that. Love that. Um, But what I also love is this podcast because I'm one of the hosts as well as you two. And if you'd like to interact with us, you can find us on social media. We are all on Instagram. Carly is at all the pretty books. I am at Nocturne Eric and Melanie is at the Harry Potter collection. You can also check out the websites. We have some websites. One of them is all the pretty books.net. The other is the Harry Potter collection.com. And of course, dialoguealley.com, which is the official site of this podcast. Um, You can also stream this wherever you're listening to right now. And I would encourage you, if you can, and you like what you're listening to, please leave a review. Uh, We haven't mentioned that in a while, but it really does help spread the word of our show. It helps it pop up in other people's feeds or suggestions. So it would be really great. If you're enjoying your time here, you can leave us a review. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. I would really appreciate it. Um, also, if you are also really enjoying your time, you can support our show even more by finding us over on Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com slash dialogue alley, you can choose a small monthly donation to send to keep this show going. And with any of those levels of your Patreon contribution, you receive stuff. You get access to our Discord, which is our community space to talk about translations and collecting in general you can get access to bonus episodes you can get access to our resources tab where we can help you locate these books that we've been talking about for a decent price you don't have to go tromp on all over the place our community members have done all of the legwork for you and can point you in the right direction if you'd like to start any size collection today right now like in five minutes they can help you um we can also, <laughs> right, Melody? Yeah, it, they Melody's are. They like, are very yeah. quick. They're they're on it. They are on it. They are on it indeed. Um, also, you can get ad free episodes, and you get an episode a day early. Also, so that's that's another good benefit to being part of our Patreon supporters. But if you're not, and you're just a listener, and you enjoy it, thank you so much. We appreciate each and every one of you for choosing to spend an hour of your day listening to us talk about something that you can't see, which are the covers of these books. But you will be able to see them because Carly will post them over on the Instagram, which is at Dialogue Alley Podcast um, over on the Instagram. And you can check us out there to see more pictures. So I think with all that being said... It is time to walk back through the archway and into all of our daily lives, and we'll catch you next time for part two of our cover art book-off here on Dialogue Alley. Bye, everyone!